once a year, I visit coffee farmer Byron Corrales in Nicaragua. Byron consistently grows some of the best coffee in the world. This is a story of where that coffee comes from. It all starts with the soil. Sí, los sabores del café vienen de esta preparación. So all of the flavors, the flavors of the maracatura that come from this. Byron is so serious about his coffee, he makes his own nutrient-rich fertilizer using only plants and animals on his farm. Once the coffee cherries are red, they are ripe and ready to pick. The plant can be picked up to four times to harvest all the cherries. This is what ends up in your cup. It's a very soft fruit on the outside and then the inside if you open this up, then what you get is the beans in the middle. So this is really quite soft, chewable, actually quite yummy. So the cherries come in, they go through the pulper, they get washed through, this thing like a separator, and then into the, um, the bin. And then from there, they go through the trough there to get washed. So this is the wet pulping process. After the beans are completely washed, they are set out to begin the drying process. This is some of Byron's maracatura. They're the really large beans. So this is the last of his, of his crop. So yeah, he's just drying them. This got washed most likely this morning. So you can see they're still quite wet. A little bit of drying probably for a couple of days. And then they're going to head down to the Beneficio, finish being patio dried. And then shipped off to us. We're at the uh, drying patio here at Seoul Cafe. This is Byron's coffee. When it gets good and dry, there's a process when they, they go like this. Yeah, see, it's got a long way to go. Normally that stuff would peel right off. Now we're gonna go cup some. Cupping coffee at origin allows us to select coffee lots we want. Based on previous years, we had high expectations of Byron's Maricatura. Wow. I think that's what I said last time I cupped this coffee. There was wow. five or six cups on the table and I just said, wow. <clears throat> Super fruity. <clears throat> Blueberries, strawberries, very, very berry-like. But for me personally, I'm going to score this one of the highest coffees in Nicaragua. After the drying patio, the coffee beans go to the dry mill. Here, they're sorted. The ladies here, they're working on what they call the band, or, you know, they're doing their sorting. So. The cars that come by, they're picking all the defects out. After the sorting is done, the coffee is bagged. Finally, it's rebagged and burlapped and shipped to us at Salt Spring Coffee. So here it is, our, uh, our Barons Medicatura has shown up. Familia Corrales Medicatura. So that's how we know these are the bag marks that goes along with it. Fair to Farmer Direct logo, Salt Spring Coffee. So it's all here, this is it. En route to us, the coffee flavor can change a bit. Banks roast the coffee in tiny batches as a final step in quality control before the coffee goes to production. Okay, so this is our sample roaster. Um, I'll pre-ship arrival samples and then we'll do a little bit of roasting on here to come with roast profiles. We dropped it in at 375. I'm sort of looking for uniformity and I'm trying to smell for some of that fruit. Looks like a pretty perfect sample roast. Now it's time to take that sample roast and put it to the test. Basically, we're looking for your aroma, fragrance, um, body, acidity, flavor, and balance. That's sort of the things that we're grading on. So this coffee is definitely fruity. Um, cherry, dried fruit. And kind of, it's, it's got almost a, like a raw sugar sweetness to it. So we're gonna put that down. To score it, Banks smells the coffee dry and then wet and finally tastes it. We really want to slurp and really aspirate the coffee to hit all our mouths, at one, all our taste buds at one time. So I tend to move the spoon away from me and. When you talk about acidity and you think about lemons, lemons are sour, but you add sugar to them, make lemonade, and it's just the most beautiful thing ever. That's, that's kind of how I feel about this. I wouldn't say it tastes like lemonade necessarily, but 
It's, uh, it's definitely bright, it's definitely acidic, but it has that sweetness that just makes it work. It rounds it off and then the body steps up and it's up there with it too, so it really, really works. So now I've got, I've got all my notes and all my scores in here. One, one thing I love about the iPad app is it does the math for me. So I'll just come back here and there it is. We got a Byron's Medicatora is at 89 as of right now. I think once we do the profile roasting, we decide where the roast level is, if it needs to go a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, or where that is, I think we're going to be able to find another point or two out of it. We will get another point or two out of it. After it's picked, depulped, dried, and rechecked for quality, we roast it up, and Salt Spring Coffee is ready for your cup. Enjoy.